Hey, what up everybody? This is Steve Bridge coming to you. Tonight is the Night of Night of Champions. This is the first video of many tonight with your live coverage of Night of Champions. Basically tonight, Dean Ambrose made his big return to take on his brother and partner from the past, uh, Seth Rollins of The Shield. Uh, basically, uh, Seth Rollins was left without an opponent. Everybody knows about the story of Roman Reigns having his surgery, taking his hernia out yesterday uh, while he was uh, in Nashville. Uh, promoting the Night of Champion show, uh, he fell sick, he was split open, uh, they fixed him up, and it seems that he's going to be out for 6 to 8, maybe even 10 to 12 weeks, um, to fill a hole in the show with Seth Rollins, uh, they made a call, they got Mr. Hollywood, Dean Ambrose, the titty master himself, to make a return uh, to the WWE, he showed up at Night of Champions, and Seth Rollins came out, uh, and basically came out of his cab, uh, JBL pointed out the fact that he didn't pay for his cab, and then an all-out brawl broke out with officials and everyone trying to break it up, Dean Ambrose jumped off the top and then he did a huge splash, nothing is better than these Shield guys going at it, I think everybody by now has seen the WWE Network special, uh, the road to SummerSlam, you know, talking all about the Shield and how they came together, and how all their stories sort of merged together, and these guys are really, the, they know each other so well, and, um, they pointed out the fact that Ambrose and um, and Rollins matches really carried NXT back in the day, and they, and they really credit themselves as the ones that really got NXT to the point where it got on Hulu, to the point where it got on the WWE Network, and the matches made it you know, something that you had to go out of your way to really see. Uh, from here, we're going to go to Hell in the Cell, which is going to be Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins in uh, more than likely what would be a Hell in the Cell match. Everybody can remember their uh, Lumberjack match from SummerSlam, basically the storyline with all the people being out there. It wasn't so they can get a paycheck, was trying to keep these guys in the ring and not running away from each other as Seth Rollins had done. Uh, they found a way to get out of there and people were brawling all through the stands. It's a very memorable Lumberjack match, one of the best ones that I've ever seen. But um, it's going to be a good one. I mean, it's 50-50 split, a lot of people out there are wondering what's going to happen with Brock Lesnar and John Cena in the main event. Who's going to be the champion once tonight ends? Uh, you know, will Seth Rollins still have a chance to, to, uh, to cash in? A lot of people are rooting for that if John Cena pulls the victory. Uh, you know, that would sort of not make sense anymore if they're going to do John Cena versus Seth Rollins with Dean Ambrose out there. Um, but hopefully Cena can uh, take the title tonight and uh, then go to a match from there. But even if, even if John Cena does have a match at Hell in the Cell, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins needs to be in Hell in the Cell. What a great match that would be uh, to cap off. It doesn't even have to be the end, because these guys are going to have a storyline, which is going to run forever. I'm sure you guys have read the stories of them trying to get this, the Shield back together in 2015. Get your tickets now, boys. It's going to be a big return. But um, Night of Champions proved not to be a good show. We've had a few, few title changes in there, a few good matches, and uh, they're holding tight. And uh, Dean Ambrose makes his return, and that's about it for now. Peace out.